Bluetooth speaker. It's a Monster State Soundstage uh, S3 speaker here, and it's um, not turning on. I plugged in to the 5 volt USB port to see if it uh, would produce any voltage, and it's not. Here's the power button at the top. So we'll have to be opening this to have a look at it. Um, the first thing is looking at the bottom. There's this rubber pad that you can peel back and there's about six screws along the outside using a torque screwdriver you can go around the outside and then just uh, remove those screws there um, this speaker was quite difficult to open so the repair will be in depth um, so just removing the screws on the the outside there so that we can remove that metal bezel on the front and then there are screws underneath the metal bezel here so we're just getting those screws out um, at the front there just going around pulling back that there's some glue and so uh, the reason why this speaker is more difficult to repair is because you're gonna have to glue everything back together so when after the screws are off at the bottom at the top what you want to do is you want to pry off the top here um, and then underneath this um, uh, top part there are screws so just removing all the screws at the top there and then after you have removed those screws you will be able to take off the little plastic uh, top part and this has the power button there as well so I'm just getting the last screw off and then underneath this, there's also some screws that are holding the top part of the bezel. When you pull this up, there's a little ribbon cable that you can disconnect to the power button. And then uh, removing the last screws on the on the metal part there, and you can pull off the metal part. With the metal part removed, there are screws underneath that you need to remove there. There's quite a few. I'm just going through and pulling off all the screws. And then this will enable us to separate the two halves like this. And there's glue inside. I don't know why they put glue in there. It's, it was a little mess um, there. Everything's kind of glued together. So this, I wouldn't recommend doing this repair if you don't know what you're doing. So I'm just having a look at the power supply plug and make sure there's the port uh, soldering joints are all okay and it seem to be fine. Seeing if there's a short on the power line and it seems to be okay here. So this is not the connection part. So I'm going to be going over to the other circuitry and having a look. And I did find a short. And um, so I knew I had to re remove this board here. There's a little Wi-Fi adapter that you have to remove as well. And then we can flip it over and look at all the components. You can hear the beeping there there's a short so there's a problem so I found kind of like a short here I have it in continuity mode and what I did is I injected voltage to the plus and minus side because there's a couple capacitors here that have a shorted and when I injected it this chip right here heated up really hot and so the problem is this chip which I'm not 100% sure what that chip yeah, is it's kind of dirty but you can see it's discolored there and that's our probably our microprocessor so this is the chip that's bad so here I have uh, my negative and then I'm injecting to the positive side of this capacitor to identify what chip's heating up. Right now we're drawing 1.6 amps at 3 volts and I can already feel that this chip's getting warmer there's really hot too this one 
So this uh, microchip was getting really hot. So I believe that this is actually the one that's, and it's a digital audio interface transceiver. It's a PCM there. And so you can, I can re uh, order this part, but it'll take about three months to get here from China. So thanks for watching. If this video was uh, helpful, just uh, give it a like. And if you're interested in more repair videos, you can subscribe.